the Monday after Thanksgiving. So I am pleasantly stuffed, happy, got to see my family, have a good weekend. I um, hope you are doing well. And today I wanna to take you outside real quick and do our garden tours because we have some really cold weather coming and I'm gonna to need to cover up the green stalks. Some of my cold weather plants will need to get a blanket over them as well. So um, that's what today's video is about. Hope you'll join me. Uh, there's a few interesting things going on out on the deck uh, with the green stalks. So let's head out there. We're gonna bundle up because it is starting to get cold and see what's going on. That Gerber daisy is still alive. You can see I've got some heuchera and a dying impatient in there. And that's normal. Let's see, celery doing great. I have taken many stalks off of that little guy. Very strong, homegrown celery has a very strong uh, flavor compared to what you get at the grocery. You can see the thyme has taken over this bed. I'm thinking about removing most of it and putting it over my container roses in the same container, like over the soil to act as like a, a living mulch. Um, forgot to bring my scissors out, but let's see. I wanted to show you these guys. I've got some runners that I am getting to root. And I was gonna go ahead and cut the vines because uh, I'm sure they have rooted pretty well by now. Well, maybe not. So these are ready. I'm gonna put them back up on the wall right here to match the ones on this side. You can see they're doing really well. Nice and pretty. Usually they maintain their color um, here in zone seven ish. We're kind of a zone seven B now after the new uh, guidelines were changed for growing zones, um, which is fine. I figured we were seven B close to eight because I can overwinter a lot of eight uh, items, perennial items. Got a rose getting ready to open there. It's a little bit better view of that guy. There's Mr. Tonto. How are you doing, buddy? You should not be tired. He had a lot of turkey on Thanksgiving and he was so hyper. He was super hyper. Um, so these are my tillage radishes. Uh, they're daikon radish dwarfs. I forgot the name, but I think they're red or purple. You can see a little bit of redness peeking out there. This is a golden sage that I potted um, probably sometime after the last video, so you've not seen those. Got that pineapple sage overwintering. The fig is way back in there overwintering as well. He's very well insulated. I have one little seedling in there. Pretty sure that might be a rutabaga. Um, no germination here. Have some carrots back in there. I have uh, seeded that three times. I think I'm gonna give up at this point, but there are some new growth popping out. My goal is to kind of success, succession so this container. Um, the squirrels have not helped me out at all. So not much going on here as far as projects. However, we're going to make a video soon. I'm going to take this container, plant a f the last little bit of my garlic, and we are going to work on some patio garden experiments. Because um, some people, you know, have limited space, even more so than I do. And I think it would be good if we could come up with some tricks to grow more in tight spaces. Fern looking good. I move the um, uh, lambs here, here. These little guys are perennial and evergreen and all doing well. The hoopra, the geranium, which is uh, perennial geranium, Cranesville, and then a wild fern that I found and potted up. Let's see. You can see uh, most of the trees have lost their leaves. And I have been harvesting leaves. That'll be a future video too where we talk about that. Um, here is a brussel. Got some overwintering thyme in that pot. Miraculously, there is some holy basil still alive. These are all beets. They need to be thinned. I meant to bring my scissors and we were going to do that together, but um, beet seeds often have multiple seeds in one little clump. So after they've germinated, you want to thin 
this is more of a lukewarm crop and it really doesn't like the super cold like we're getting right now um it was an experiment it's not going too well though we'll talk about the green stalks here in a second this little guy's doing great despite the cold um that is ice plant some more beets in this container same situation some are doing okay um some look just really rough like those guys right there but in here these guys are doing really well i'm going to take this off so you can see and these are spinaches i had to cover them because the squirrels wouldn't leave them alone uh, but they're doing really nice i think this variety is called american so we will keep it pinned in place you can see i recycled um i don't even know where i got those i think i got those from Johnny's. Yeah, I didn't really care for them. They're real flimsy, so I'm just kind of repurposing them. Okay, so I need to clean up that green stock. And I've got some peas growing here. I think these are sugar daddy. I've also got um, lemon, dwarf, cilantro. And then I repurposed this pot for a raspberry bush. This is the newest one that I bought this year. Um, I can't remember the name of it, though. I'm having a hard time with that. This container might interest someone who is growing in a tight space, uh, like on a patio. You can see I have baby spinach that has germinated in the last week or so. And um, I forgot, I think that's, oh, it's Oceanside. So I have a seascape strawberry plant with Oceanside spinach. I thought that was like a great name combo there. And I think we're ready to move on to the green stalks. And we will talk about everything else in the next garden tour. Um, like this bed right here I worked on the other day. We're having a hard time with the lighting. I mean, it's like uh, 2.30 in the afternoon and the sun is setting. That's sad, so sad. Okay, so let's start. I've got them kind of lined up here because of limited lighting. I want them to get as much as possible. So let's start with this one which I'm calling blue now because I'm using these sink drain covers uh, to keep like debris out of the spout. Anyways, these covers are working out great to keep the debris from going down in that drainage hole. So on this top level, I've got three pixie cabbages, they're dwarfs, and I've got a marigold still hanging on because I will cover these guys anytime we get below 28 degrees. And it's been very happy, uh, more spinach, some kitten mint and I'll put um, screenshots at the end of the videos that has uh, a list of what I have in every green stock that I'm going to show you and you can take your time looking at it there um, some lemon dwarf cilantro again more baby spinach I think this might be Catalina and not sure what is in there but I will look at that screenshot later too some sage uh, more pixie cabbage there this is actually parsley. You can see it looks a lot like cilantro. These are some purple Napa cabbage. Um, probably have to thin very soon. I have three, uh, but one looks real puny there on the side. What do we got down here? Cute pansy. Got some lettuce. This is walled fire lettuce. It does fairly well in cold temperatures. And this is some um, thyme. Got a couple pockets of that thyme. Look at that little pansy peeking around. And then um, our potatoes. So, these are the Yukon Gold. Not as productive so far as the Pontiac Red. Remember, this is an experiment. Okay, let's move on. This is our orange tier. So these are tiny, I think they're called tiny something bok choys. They're little bitties. So I've got those all on the top level. They're so cute. Um, bok choy is so hard to grow for me because either we're too hot or, well, we're just too hot in the spring and the fall. These are some little lettuce seedlings that have germinated. And thankfully I didn't pull all of my lettuce because these guys have really rebounded and are doing great. 
Um, and then the rest of this is strawberry and thyme. But I thought, oh, I did. I did. I planted some arugula in several of these pockets with the strawberry. And they should do fine. All right, let's move on to this one. You can see I've got more lettuce over here. This is a different variety, though. Um, we'll look at the screenshot for that one because this is the green tier. I can't remember. Um, it'll come to me, though. The dill has been doing phenomenal. I've harvested from it at least three times. I will be harvesting again tonight before I put the cover on. Well, I say night. I mean, like, in 20 minutes because it'll be dark. Probably about 5 o'clock today. But look at how pretty. I just love dill. Okay, so dill is all on the top. And then um, I've got some more of the same um, lettuce blend that was over on the side. I also put in some bunching onion seeds, but no germination. That was an experiment. Uh, some winter lemon thyme here and here. More pixie cabbages. One block in the light, another pretty pansy. Let's see if we can focus on that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I even have, um, I even have a cilantro still alive. And we have gotten down in mid 20s, upper 20s, several times um, in the last month. But I think the covers that I put on really do help. I would say they're probably adding at least five to eight degrees, at least. And then the potatoes on this bottom tier, these are the red Pontiac. They are doing phenomenal. Let's look at some more. Look at how huge this one is. I need to go ahead, bring my soil out and get these um, healed up. And it looks like I've got more cilantro also growing. And then I've got some peas um, somewhere. They've been a little bit slow to germinate. Um, and I kind of forgot where I planted them. And then I replanted them. And I've actually got peas up here with the lettuce. Didn't mean to do that. It's another look at these guys. Um... Petty cake blackberry that um, he's just doing his normal winter die back. And I've got my rose here. I thought I saw a bloom on here somewhere. Hmm. Need to clean up here. Just Sorry for all the camera issues today, guys. But um, I'm going to leave these screenshots. You can take your time, pause, and look at them if you wish. I last seeded uh, the three green stalks the very end of October, early November. You can see I've got new germination in the last two to three-ish weeks. Um, so if you have any questions, just post them below. If you want to comment, please do so. I will love to hear from you. Hope you're having a great gardening week, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Stay safe. Bye, guys.